Yeah, I, I knew one of the board members um, and the company had built this really interesting data set for what's a fair price for a car repair. So by make, model, year, um, zip code, which gets very detailed when you put all those together and then repair type, what's a fair price? And so the idea was to help consumers overcome that sticker shock when they see, you know, wow, it's gonna cost that. Um, but it really didn't have a business model for that alone, that just price. And so I came in and created this concept called RepairPal Certified, which was a kind of a view, not just of what's a fair price, which actually ends up being very important for our you know, emerging growing dealer business, but also what's a trusted shop. Exactly. And so what we did is literally, I went around with the same auto professionals who had been built a science around what's a fair price. And we went to San Francisco, we went to independent shops and we walked in and said, okay, your daughter, I literally said this, is broke down in Nashville, where, what, how would you advise her for what shop to go to? Guess what? They, they didn't know. No, they didn't know. No, I don't know. And so I said then, okay, if you had all the data in the world about every shop, what paradigm would you choose to evaluate those shops to understand where to send your daughter? And guess what? Still didn't know. So I figured, I <laughs> right? So think of that. And now the data behind this about the need for repair is pretty interesting, but let me finish on RepairPal certified and then we can talk about like how, how big is this problem? So we created a paradigm called RepairPal certified that has four pillars. The first actually was modeled after dealers because most of the auto professionals had actually worked in the dealers, loved the, the quality experience. So it was sure. effectively a quality assessment. And this was really for an independent shop back then. And so do you have the right diagnostic tools? Is everyone trained? All the things you are the parts, high quality, all the things you would expect at a dealer. It's not the same as a dealer necessarily, but it's a, it's a very significant commitment to quality, which frankly, most independent shops don't have that level of expertise. That's right. So that was one. Second, we extracted the customer list from the shop. So, okay, Russell, you want to be in the network you pass the quality test. Now we interview your customers and calculate an unbiased net promoter score. And the net promoter score is how likely you to rate this, you know, United Airlines or Apple or this repair shop on a scale of zero to 10. The nines and tens are promoters and you subtract out the zeros through sixes, which are kind of like, yeah, they're not really that happy. Sure. Even, even a seven and eight, which is a great score, don't get counted. And well, the net promoter score of the industry overall isn't very good because there's a lot of sixes and sevens versus <laughs> nines and tens. So we set a minimum net promoter score. And actually the average net promoter score of our network is a 76, which is like Apple. So now all of a sudden you have this super high quality shop that delights its customers. Isn't that great? Uh -huh. That's the kind of shop you'd want to send your daughter. And we look for two more things. One, do they stand behind the work the way a dealer would with a year warranty or more? Turns out actually most of our independent shops, the, the average is two years, 24,000 months. Because if you've made that commitment to quality and service, you can really stand behind your work. And that's absolutely the beginning way to differentiate yourself that you are one of those few quality shops. And then finally, we use the RepairPal estimator and said, look, you can charge whatever you want, but if you're gonna overcharge for a zip code based on average dealer labor rates, not cheap. That's right. The estimator is based on OEM SRP parts. It's based. Uh, it's based on average dealer labor rates. We're not trying to get it low cost. We're simply trying to get a fair cost. Yeah. Consumers are willing to pay pay a fair price. Absolutely, as long as there's value associated with it. Exactly. And so we put those four criteria together to create this concept of RepairPal certified ten years ago now. 